The whole idea is that we do a lot of work to make it look like we did no work. So taking all the beauty, the refined grace, and the continuity of the aesthetic in classic cars, and then marrying that with the latest and greatest in engineering and mechanical systems so that the capability is viable for today. Every single project brings new technology to be integrated, new processes to be tried out, new challenges. Even a lot of our clients never realize is the fit and finish, it's all concourse perfect, but it's all hidden. You never see, you never realize. So for example, we'll laser scan a vehicle from the 1940s so that we have CAD data on it, so therefore we can digitally control it. We're having to glean processes that range from the bleeding edge aerospace to a 100S Tesla battery array control system. So the process generally starts with a client expressing interest in a very specific vehicle. Once we get the green light, I put out an APB to a network of hunters that work for us. You need to find that fine balance of patina but not decay. Sometimes the hunt for the vehicle literally has happened in 72 hours. Other times we've gone for two years and had to abandon the mission. Once we start the process, I'd say the average build time for a derelict is anywhere from 18 to 24 months. So to pull off what we do, we really have to be kind of clever and a bit MacGyverish to mash up different techniques and processes. The guys that work with us and really succeed here may have had no professional experience in this space, but it was their passion. You see this dent? We are constantly riding sort of the knife's edge on design and engineering perspective of yeah. trying to make sure we don't do anything that negates the on-road capability in balance with the art form. A lot of people look at the derelict projects and go, why on earth would anyone spend all that time and money on something that looks pretty bad? It's not for everyone, and that's part of the entire point of it. To me, it's highly romantic because of that sense of wonder, that sense of history that they evoke. Everything that we do is, is distinctly emotional and it, and it must be or we're not doing a good job.